And now to Lagos State, where wife of the governor, Dr. Ibijoke Sanwulu, has called on women to sustain the action and interest in the political space to ensure that they have adequate representation ahead of the 2023 elections. Dr. Sanwulu said this as she marched alongside other women to the State House of Assembly to press home their demands for legislative action to project the rights of women. A correspondent, Wilson Omoni, reports. I say, Women converged on the State House of Assembly to protest how the National Assembly members rejected three critical bills proposed to change the narrative for women in politics. Leading this team of demonstrators is the First Lady of Lagos, Dr. Ibijoke Saonolu, who is calling on the state lawmakers to further add pressure on the federal legislature in reviewing the new laws that may change the fortune of women across the country. Pressure on the federal and state lawmakers for them to do the right thing and be true representatives of our people, with women constituting at least 50%. The Speaker of the House, Mudashi Robasa, agrees there is room for improvement as it promises to begin the process to make such laws replicable in Lagos. We will always appreciate women in Lagos and Nigeria and Africa for the good job we are doing. We are the source of our family. We are the strength of the men. We have that percentage. And I want to say this, that we have never for long been disappointed having women in the parliament. Women, however, say participation must go beyond laws, but by collaboration for the credible candidate who vies for office. Only that you look at our legis um, our air school, you see that our women are well represented, and in many of our boards and stratas, our permanent secretaries, you see many women there, and discharging their duties effectively and uh, uh, qualitatively. If we really support each other, if women were to support each other, we won't even need any affirmative action. We won't need 35%. But unfortunately, you know, we don't support because of our husbands. We are your wives. We are your sisters. We are the mothers. We are your girlfriends. We are your daughters. We are here to support the government to ensure that governance reaches its peak level. The resolve by women to press home their demand through a series of organized protests may ultimately yield the change needed for women affirmative action.